Spark plugs come in various heat ranges, which refers to the ability to conduct heat away from the tip so the plug doesn't overheat. Reducing the core nose length of the ceramic insulator inside the plug shell can shorten the path heat has to follow to flow away from the tip of the plug. By varying the design of the ceramic insulator, a plug manufacturer can create a line of plugs that have different heat characteristics, from hot to normal to cold to really cold for all-out racing. Spark plug manufacturers make specific heat range recommendations for stock applications because they have tested the plugs in the engine and have validated the performance for fouling resistance and pre-ignition and detonation resistance. But most manufacturers will not make specific heat range recommendations for performance or racing applications because there are too many variables and they have no way to validate which heat range will work the best in a given situation. Determining the right heat range for a given engine is usually a process of trial and error for the average engine builder or racer. A spark plug manufacturer can use a specially modified spark plug equipped with a thermocouple to measure plug temperature during a dyno run, but lacking such equipment, the best you can do is to do a dyno pull or make a test run, shut the engine off without letting it idle, then remove and read the plug to see if they're fouling. If the ceramic insulator around the center electrode is covered with black soot deposits, the plugs are running too cold and you need to go one or two heat ranges warmer. If the tips of the plugs have a yellowish or blistered appearance, they're running too hot and you need to go one or two heat ranges colder. You can always go too cold with a set of spark plugs and not damage your engine, but you can burn a piston if the plugs are too hot. The worst thing that will happen if the plugs are too cold is that one or more plugs may foul and misfire if the engine idles too long or is only run under a light load and never runs with the pedal to the metal. Thanks for watching.